Hello, this is a series of new videos exposing the lies and hypocrisy and bullying of a Ryan James Donaghy from Lancaster, better known as Bustex. In 2015, Ryan latched onto the death of a young boy aged seven called Conley Thompson in Barnsley. He unfortunately died in a tragic accident on the building site without playing. Ryan then posted a video on Facebook being tearful and upset about the young boy's death. The video got over 100,000 likes and views. And then Ryan realized by exploiting his boy's death, he could actually build up his Facebook channel and profile. But in various live streams recently, he's actually, said, he's actually claimed that he raised over 40,000 pounds for the dead boy's family. And I didn't believe this. So what I did was on Facebook, um, using Messenger, I reached out to various members of Connie Thompson family. One of the family members who I'm not going to mention got back in touch with me and we spoke by telephone. And this person has confirmed, they do know Ryan James Donahue, but this person has confirmed that Ryan has not raised a single penny for the boy. And all these claims of raising £40,000 is an absolute total lie. There was a GoFundMe campaign set up to raise money for the funeral, but it had nothing to do with Jane, Ryan James Donahue. The guy is a, um, is a complete fraud. At the moment, he's attacking Alex Belfield for, for lies and hypocrisy. I mean, look at yourself, Ryan James. Absolute disgrace. There'll be more videos to come, over and out. Hello there, hiya. This is a re reply to Ryan James Donahue from Lancaster, also known as Bustex. He's made some claims about me. First of all, on one of his live streams, when I was on exposing his criminal past, he called me a nonce, um, a paedophile. And his evidence for this, he said, I have taken pictures from his social media accounts and downloaded them onto my phone. Um, completely incorrect. I've made a complaint to Lancashire Police and I've examined my phone forensically. And guess what? Absolute lies. There's no photos of your children on my phone and there never was. First of all, there was a, a Facebook group called UK Auditors Exposed. And I saw a photo of your children on that group. It's when you were claimed to be on the run and in hiding. And I said, how come you know, your family are in hiding when they're actually on a holiday in Morecambe? Again, you're a hypocrite and a liar. And secondly, you keep referring to my Flickr photography account. Um, which is street photography and model photography. You're saying I take photos of prostitutes. Well, in fact, they're actually models from Purple Paul, the, the modern agency. Uh, so again, get your facts right and stop blacking my name. But Ryan, there are more videos to come. Keep watching this space. Hello there, hiya. Ryan James Donaghy from Lancaster, better known as Buztex, has claimed that in the past, he's organized two music festivals to raise money for a hospice, St. John's Hospice in Lancaster. The first music festival that which he organized and ran took place in 2011. And he said it was a follow-up festival in 2012. Now the aim of the festival was to raise money for the local hospice. And he's always um, said on live streams that he's raised nearly 40,000 pounds of the hospice, which you know, on paper sounds absolutely amazing. But then, Bearing in mind his track record, I've had doubts. I rang the hospice, and obviously because of data protection, they couldn't confirm or deny that they actually knew of Ryan James Donahue. But they have said to me that no single individual has donated 40,000 pounds to the hospice in the last 10 years, which effectively rules out what Ryan James is saying. In subsequent live streams, he's actually changed his story. He said the first festival, because of overheads and costs, actually lost money. And the second festival, only raised a few hundred pounds. I think he was actually telling the truth for once in his life. That means that the claims of raising 40,000 pounds for a hospice for the dying, terminally ill and sick is an absolute lie. It is disgraceful. The few hundred pounds he raised for the second festival, I very much doubt that any of that money has um, been donated to the hospice. When I spoke to Ryan on a live stream on September 11th, I mentioned about the hospice and he started shouting at me and he said, I will prove it. I will go to the hospice on the Sunday and I'll do a live stream and I'll show you here and I'll prove to you that I've actually donated money to the hospice. 
Once again, the live stream never appeared. No proof has, has ever appeared. And I'm saying that Buzz Ryan James Donahue is once again being proven to, to have been a liar. Now you can accuse me of anything. You can, you, you can accuse me of whatever you want. But there's one thing I've never done. And that's the claim I've raised money for the terminally ill and dying. Make up your own mind. Right. Hello there. Hiya. Good afternoon. On the September the 11th, um, I spoke to Buzz Ryan James Donaghy on a live stream, accusing him of being a scammer. He then started shouting, screaming, um, cutting me off, um, muting me so I couldn't speak or respond, and then bringing up my photography website as if that was some kind of crime being a photographer. But anyway, a few days later on another live stream, I went online to actually apologise to Buzz, and people have been wondering ever since why, what happened. Yeah, has Ryan got some kind of dirt over me? Has he got some inf information against me? Or has he put a gun to my head? Or was this a prepared script? The truth is, it was neither. Since I, I appeared on that live stream, Buzz accused me of being a nonce and a paedophile, which is appalling. I then received hundreds and hundreds of abusive comments online, and Buzz kept repeating these slanders. He then, on one of his community posts, published details of my website and also my email address and I received hundreds and hundreds of death threats. People on Facebook were trying to find out where I lived so I could receive a beating uh, yeah, and my, window, um, and my um, house windows could be put through or set on fire. This was getting completely out of hand. I was on a train on the 14th going with my wife to see a, uh, to Birmingham to see a, a Duran Duran in concert and then somebody texted me to say that Buzz has put a picture of you and your wife on his Facebook account. Uh, it's like a wanted day or life poster. On the post, there was photos of me and my wife. My wife has nothing to do with this. He then posted a screenshot next to my, a picture of my wife and I, and it was a death threat that was sent to him, allegedly. Now the inference was that I actually sent a death threat to Buzz, which is completely wrong. And I thought this is getting out of hand. You know, this, this is gonna end, in, end up in me getting physically hurt or even killed. Um, I was going to contact the police, but I'm thinking, you know, this guy's got kids, it's not worth it. So I reached out to him via email and I said, look, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to draw a line in the sand. I don't want any more of this. Please can we stop? I won't visit your you know, your YouTube channel or website again. I won't post on any of your um, photos or videos. And then he replied back saying, fine, that's, that's, not, that's uh, very nice of you to hear. Do you fancy him jumping on, 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 a, on a live stream? Well, later that night, I get to my better judgment, I must admit. I, I mean, I am a nice guy and I always try to do the right thing. I went on a live stream and said, I'm sorry. I thought this would be the end of it. You know, I won't hear from Buzz ever again. And then he made a strange suggestion. You know, he kept saying that I have photos of his children on my phone, which is complete rubbish. Um, there was a, a Facebook group where photos of his children were posted. And I posted a message below it saying, I thought you're supposed to be in hiding. You know, your, your kids are on holiday. He's then claimed ever since that I've downloaded photos of his children onto my phone. And he wanted me to send a video of, of the photos of my phone just to prove it. I sent him the video, I've done it three times. He's always claimed not to receive it. He then has made subsequent claims saying, I've deleted the evidence. Um, I've got photos of, children, of, of his children on my phone. Um, the abuse is continuing, so I then contacted the police to try and end this. Uh, the police took a statement from me. It's been passed on to Lancashire um, Police. Um, they've examined my phone, absolutely nothing found, but I've decided not to take any further forward. Yeah, I don't want this guy charged or prosecuted. It, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not worth it. But this is the reason why I made the apology video. I wish I never. Right, make up your own mind. Hello there, hiya. Two months ago, Bustex, also known as Ryan James Donahue, posted a video about a homeless veteran in Manchester called Mark. Mark was sleeping rough and um, on hard times. At the end of the video, Bustex promised that he would help this guy out. And below the video, there was a link. And it said, if you want to help Mark out, then um, buy Halford's gift vouchers. Then text the code or send the code to Bustex email address. And then Bustex will then send the codes on to um, Mark.
So Mark can actually use the, the codes you know, to help him over the winter use all the money, which is a, a very great and noble gesture. And then Bustex promised there will be an update video to show you how Mark was getting on and, uh, and how he spent the money. No update video has ever appeared. And over the following uh, weeks on live streams, people asked Buzz questions about this. Buzz has always claimed that all the money that was um, you know, donated to him um, by viewers was actually sent on to Mark. And the amount he claims that was raised varied from £400 to when I spoke to him on the, um, September 11th, he said it was £130. And Buzzsex said to me, I will post pictures of my, on my community post of text messages proving that I've sent all the money on to Mark. I said, okay, that's fair enough. Well, since September 11th, no post has appeared. And then very, a few days later on Instagram, his girlfriend, Shona, was posting pictures of Buzz's children on bikes that were bought from Halfords. Possibly a coincidence, we don't know. But what I'm guessing is, not one penny of that money that was sent in by viewers has ever been passed on to the homeless man. Um, unfortunately, bus tax has scammed everybody and just um, spent money on himself. Um, obviously, Buzz can say whatever he wants about me, but there's one thing I've never done, and that's stolen money from the homeless man. I'll let you make up your own mind. Hello there, hiya, I hope you're well. Two months ago, Buzz Tex, also known as Ryan James Donahue, claimed via email that he received a, a horrific death threat, um, threatening violence against him, his girlfriend and his children. If that's true, that's absolutely appalling. On subsequent live streams, Buzz claimed that de the death threats that he received were sent by me, which is completely untrue, and that he was in hiding and his children had to be moved to a safe house. Where, I mean, Buzz went into hiding by staying in various hotels across Scotland and filming and broadcasting his location to the world, where his girlfriend and children, who apparently were in a safe house, were actually on holiday in Morecambe, posting loads of pictures on Facebook and Instagram and all across the internet. So, yeah, would you call that being in hiding? Buzz has also claimed on a, another live stream that the person who set the death threat has been arrested in charge of the police. If that was me, you know, how come I'm still here? That is absolutely crazy. Um, I think the death threats, if he actually ever received them, were fake. It was just to boost the ratings and profile of his account and his YouTube channel to increase his subscribers. Buzz then said he went to Newcastle, to Newcastle Police Station to report this incident, which he then filmed. Um, he wouldn't give any details and the police apparently didn't take it any further. He then waited outside the village in Stockton where he said the person who said the death threats was actually living. You know, he was asking him on, live on air to actually confront him and again nobody appeared. That doesn't make sense. You report the incident to, New, in a, to Newcastle which is 40 miles away from Stockton and then wait outside Stockton for the perpetrator to turn up. Well, Buzz, you've accused me of all kinds of things. You've lied about me, you've slandered me and me and my wife on your live streams and your videos. Well, yeah, I don't create fake, fake dramas and fake death threats where you actually go on holiday and yeah, your wife and kids are enjoying themselves on the beach and you're enjoying yourselves in hotels. Um, you're absolutely abysmal. But again, I'll let viewers make up their own minds. Hello there, hiya, I hope you're all okay. Ryan James Donaghy, also known as Buzztex, in a couple of live streams, has always claimed that I've doxed his address and forced him to move house to avoid attacking reprisals. Well, firstly, that's not strictly true. You technically dox yourself. On one live stream, you're filming outside the police station and the policeman quite clearly shouted your full name and address, which I heard, and it was broadcast over 400 people. So you dox yourself. On the second live stream, you were driving down a one-way street, you were pulled over by the police, and you're about to pull out your blue badge to prove that you're disabled. The policeman quite clearly said your full name and address again. Again, you broadcast that to 400 people watching. All I did was repeat this information back on the Facebook group and also on one of your live streams. I've shown these two live streams to my local police station and they, they have confirmed that you have doxed yourself. You've broadcast your own personal information 
made it available online. Right, anyway, um, I hope this clears this up. And um, thanks for watching. Right, bye. Hello there, hiya. In 2016, Ryan James Donahue, also known as Bustex, and, and his now ex-partner, Shona Painter, they set up a company called British Talent TV. Now, the aim of this company was to provide work, paid work as extras or background artists on British TV soap operas such as EastEnders, Emmerdale and Coronation Street. Now, as anybody knows, ITV and BBC only use established agencies that don't work with third party companies. So in effect, Shona and Ryan were conning people. They were offering jobs which didn't exist. So anybody who actually handed over money and expected to be on Emmerdale were in the fact being deceived. Now I've checked on Companies House website and as I am soon realised, it's, it's a shell company. There were no um, company filings or, or receipts or proper, any proper accountancy. So basically it's a company that's been set up with a scamming element and that was to take money off people who were then promised jobs on British TV soap operas which didn't exist. Uh, the company is still active and it's still running. If anybody has ever handed over money to Ryan um, as part of this company and got nothing in return, would you please leave a comment down below and I'll get back, back in touch with you. And with everybody else, I'll let you make up your own mind. Okay, thanks for that. Bye. Hello there, hiya. Julia, on previous comments on one of my videos, you said, please leave Buzz alone. What has he done to you? That's a good question. Whenever anybody criticizes Buzz and he's scamming past, the first thing he does is block them. Then he calls them a nonce. And then he starts hurling abusive comments about them. He claims to be an investigative journalist trying to expose the truth. Well, um, listen to this. This is one of his live streams. As you heard Buzz say then, again with his investigative journalism, that there was a naturist event in Morecambe with naked children and I was there as their official photographer taking photos. So by inference, I was some kind of paedophile photographing naked children. First of all, I've never been to Morecambe. Never been an official photographer for anyone anywhere. I'm an amateur photographer. Anybody that can prove that I was in Morecambe, yeah, any time in the last decade, I will give them £10,000. Uh, anyway, I'll let you make up your own mind. Um, over now. Bye. Hello there. Good afternoon. And welcome to Ryan James Donahue, also known as Buzztex. I appreciate the shout out on my live stream and the fact that you love all my videos. Really, really appreciate your, your wonderful and um, bizarre comments. Oh, by the way, if you want to meet up face to face to discuss this, um, I'll meet you any time in central Newcastle over the next week or so. Drop me an email with a date and time and the place you want to meet up. You can film me. I've got absolutely nothing to hide and I will film you. I've got a list of questions that I want you to answer and you can ask me anything. Oh, it's just us two. Don't bring your gang. Just us two. So no Julia, no Arkash, none of the bus fans. Just us two talking reasonably and amicably like adults. Is that fair? Okay. If you want to meet me, you've got my email address, contact me, and we'll take it from there. Right, over and out. Right, bye. Hello there, hiya. I hope you're okay. In 2016, Ryan James Donahue, also known as Buztex, set up a group on Facebook called Hunters Online. The whole idea of the group was a paedophile entrapment group where Buzz would pretend to be a 15-year-old teenage girl and talk on an app. Now, the person he, he was normally talking to would be a middle-aged man. And the conversations were broadcast live on Facebook to a horrified audience. The police got wind of this and obviously it was shut down because it, it, you know, it was vigilante violence and entrapment. 
And I'm looking back and thinking about this, I'm looking back through all the posts, and I'm wondering, was there a more sinister motive behind Buzz's whole um, campaign? And if you look, obviously Buzz is trying to raise his a profile on Facebook with likes, shares. And then I looked more closely. There was a, a campaign, a GoFundMe campaign set up by Buzz. And it's to raise a thousand pounds to distribute flyers and posters be, to be put up around the Morecambe and Lancaster area. Obviously, no posters ever appeared. And there was huge accusations of fraud and theft because the money was going missing. Buzz always blames two other people called um, Becca and, and Daz, who I don't know who they are because obviously all their posts related to them have been deleted. Now he always blamed them for taking money for petrol, for car expenses, and basically defrauding the campaign. But people were, were accusing Ryan himself of actually taking the money. Now the whole area is clouding confusion. It doesn't help because Buzz has removed all the posts you know, re re relating to him. But also there is, there is enough paper trail evidence to put, point back to a, a massive fraud. Obviously, Ryan set up a Facebook group with good intentions to hunt and capture paedophiles, which, you know, we all agree is, um, is a good idea. But the group shrouded in controversy. It was a half-baked idea, shut down by the police, and a thousand pounds raised by um, people watching went missing. Um, again, another bus scam. I'll let you make up your own mind about this. Right, bye. Good evening, I hope you're doing well. This is a video about Ryan James Donaghy, also known as Bustex. Um, as you may not be aware, he's currently on a seven day ban. He's received his second strike from YouTube for posting an uh, abusive video about a COVID testing site. The weird thing is, Ryan a couple of days ago was actually saying, I'm out of the auditing game. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to order any more police stations or COVID testing sites. And yet he's back doing it again. He's a complete hypocrite. He can't believe anything he says. On a live stream um, on Friday, he had a little rant about me, especially about a video that I had posted about the boy from Barnsley who died. And obviously Buzz has gone on record on live streams saying that he raised over £40,000 for the dead boy's family. He did do a video when he was upset about the boy and he was invited to the boy's funeral, which is absolutely fine, brilliant. Good for you, Buzz. But to subsequently claim that you've raised £40,000 for the dead boy's family when you know it's completely untrue is disgusting. A family member who I've spoken to has confirmed to me that you did not raise a penny for the dead boy. And also, on the live stream that you did a few days ago, you kind of changed your mind because you've always said you've raised £40,000. But now you're saying, oh, I, hate, I helped the family raise money um, for the boy, which is completely different. And also, the only um, fundraising thing was a, a GoFundMe account, which raised around about £3,500 for the boy's um, funeral. And again, you weren't involved with that. So stop lying. People are not stupid. Oh, and by the way, um, I sent you a nice email asking to meet up in Newcastle to have a friendly chat, man to man, one to one, a peaceful, articulate, amicable discussion between your know, two rational, intelligent human beings. You replied back to me. You actually sent me um, an email and it says, please, can I have your number? Please was spelt wrong. Can was spelt with two N's. A number was spelt N-U-N-M-B-E-R. And I'm thinking, you call yourself an investigative reporter, but you're subliterate, you can hardly speak or spell. It is disgraceful. And I realised if I ever did meet up with you in Newcastle, it would be um, a con. You, know, you would meet, you would turn up mob-handed and just scream and rant um, abuse at me, and it would end up in a public order offence. We'd probably end up both getting arrested, which is not a good idea. So I'm going to pass on that. But anyway, enjoy the seven-day ban. Oh, and, and one more thing as well. On one of your um, live streams, when I was speaking to you about your past, you know, this is the this is the general turn. This is how you speak to people, especially people who question your past. Um, listen to this. Can I just say one thing? Anyone who's a parent, if anyone's a parent, right, tell, tell them to go onto his thing, look at his pictures, and then say, right, he's got a picture of your kid, would you be happy? That's what I'm saying. That's that question. So, 
first saw that woman's voice you could hear that beautiful woman's face but he showed her the one who's actually left him and taking the kids with her good for her oh and by the way our cash if you're going to post abusive comments saying i know your address i know where you live don't delete them be a man and keep them on there and if you know my address just post it online i would love to see it oh um enjoy the seven days of peace and rest and buzz but when you're coming back don't worry the third strike is coming Watch this space. See you soon. Bye. Hello there. Good afternoon. Um, I hope you're watching, Ryan. I'm glad you enjoyed my videos. Uh, I'm talking about Buzztex, also known as Ryan James Donahue. Um, he's posted a message on Discord. I'm actually on Discord, by the way. He's written, um, everybody see this. Pack of weirdos. For the record, this is my first strike. You're like your second strike. Look at this creep. Would you leave your kids with him after reading his book? Right. Have you read my autobiography? I don't think so. You can barely read or write. I mean, the thought of you actually reading one of these, a book, is shocking. Check out this video. And um, it's supposed to link to one of the videos that I've just posted. And also, he's put another video of a picture of my face and um, a song playing in the background. References, weirdos paedophiles, whatever. Do I not bothered? Oh, by the way, all the evidence, videos, harassment, slander, um, defamation on live streams, is all been copied. And it's been sent to um, YouTube in the US. I actually want somebody, not a computer bot, somebody to actually look through a, a racial attacks your attacks on the disabled, um, defamation, harassment, bullying against me and against Alex Belfield and against a few others as well. It's all going to be listed in detail in a long letter with a, an accompanying um, DVD. Hopefully, they're going to have a look through all the evidence and delete your channel completely because it's breaking the terms and conditions. My videos are backed up by solid evidence, which I have. You know, you have to prove in court that I'm telling untruths. Unfortunately, you're such a scammer and you're such a liar. Don't take it out on me that Shona and your three kids have gone. You know, that's, that's not my fault. You should have been a better husband and a better father. Stop playing your games. You know, stop spending all that time auditing, traveling down the country looking at like an absolute prat in your tracksuit. Yeah, you look just like such a fool. Spend time with your children. Try and rebuild your relationship with them as a father. You can report me to YouTube. I don't care less if his channel gets deleted. But guess what? Your third strike is coming up and your channel is going down. Best of luck. I love you. Bye-bye. Good morning. I hope you're okay. I'm sitting here like a newsreader. Um, this is a video about Spudtex, or also known as Ryan James Donahue. Um, first of all, Ryan, you don't dictate to me whether or not I post videos or not. I'm only answering back the slander and lies that you direct against me. And um, first of all, I want to show you a letter. This is directed at um, Ryan, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if you got that, but just explain what the letter is. I worked in banking, I've worked in banks nearly all my life. When you work in a bank, you have to have um, an enhanced disclosure from the criminal records board. It's basically to say that you don't have the criminal record. Because obviously if you have a criminal record, you can't work in a bank. Guess what, Ryan? Don't have a criminal record. Never had them. Um, but yeah, you keep on accusing me of being a paedophile. If I was a convicted paedophile, would I ever be working in the bank? Oh, you're going to love this video. It's so funny. Right, 
I just turn that off. As you can see, that was a video made by Ryan on one of his satellite channels, um, accusing me of being a paedophile and a kidly fiddler. The production quality on that was terrible. You're not going to be Steven Spielberg. Oh, and by the way, um, my wife was horrified by this. And she asked me for your email address. I said, please, whatever you do, don't email him because he's, he's a toxic, nasty, vile bully. But against you know, her better nature, she did. She got a nasty, hate-filled response back. What, whatever did you expect from Buzz? Well, anyway, he's accused me of stalking and harassing him. Really? Am I the one who does podcasts about you every day? Am I the one who downloads sample chapters from autobiography to analyse it? Am I the one who spends hours on my photography going through every single one of my photos, analysing it? Am I the one that posts death threats against me on your Discord? Oh, talk of the Discord. It should be interesting. Um, there's been quite a few messages posted on Ryan's Discord about me. Again, messages which he hasn't removed, and each message he's actually given a thumbs up. I'll read a few out, there's hundreds, but I'm just gonna read a few out. <clears throat> right, this is about me. I wish I knew where the sex offender lived. I dragged them to a effing lamppost and hang them. They don't deserve to be on this planet. Again, thumbs up from Ryan. Um, he is, is he a nonce? I will deal with him if you want, Buzz. Again, that comment got a thumbs up from Buzz. And then that, there's another one. Can't wait for Lawrence to go to hell for his sick acts against kids. I guess you give this a thumbs up. You've guessed it. Um, the main purpose of this video is a few days ago, splashed all across my videos was a message um, the phraseology, the punctuation, and the language used, and the, and the bad spelling, all made me think of Buzz. The actual message was, was posted in all my videos, five minutes uh, just after I logged in to check. And I'll read out the message, it's quite amusing. Um, the actual video holder has put an address, it's not my address, bad luck there. And it says, I've emailed you time and time again. Stop taking pictures of my niece and other innocent girls in the street. This is your final warning. I will give you the time to call the police again. I will take you there myself, Kenny. Well, first of all, don't know anybody called Kenny, never received an email, and I haven't done any street photography for years because I am so busy. I got, I got think, I, I was thinking, this was posted um, four minutes after I logged in. I immediately thought, this, you know, this has got to be Ryan. So I went on his Discord and guess what? I was absolutely flabbergasted. I couldn't believe somebody could do this against another human being. An hour before, he posted that same message on his Discord with another long rant about me being a nonce. I'm not gonna read it out because it's appalling. So Ryan, you post that, that message all across my videos and you attempted to, to um, dox my address, not my address by the way, but guess what? If anything happens to me, if there's any threats of violence against me, if I get attacked out in the street and my wife gets attacked, the first person the police will be coming for will be you, and there'll be divine retribution from me. That is a, that's a promise. Oh, and calling me a nonce all the time. Um, first of all, what do you do every night? You lock yourself in your gaming room and you play online every single night against kids. You play Fortnite, which predominantly is played by young boys. So you're locked in your um, gaming room, playing with kids all night long, and yet you call me the weirdo. Right. Anyway, Ryan, um, I won't hear back from YouTube about your channel. Have a great day, and as you know, I secretly love you. Bye. Good afternoon. My name is Dawn Windrush. I'm making this video because I am sick and tired of my husband been called a paedophile, a, a kiddie fiddler, a horrible person, whatever Buzz Texas called him, aka Ryan James Donaghy. He is not anything that Ryan James Donaghy said he is. He is the kindest, loveliest person you would ever wish to meet. And if we get any more trouble from Buzz Tex, 
I'm going to take this for, forward because I am physically and mentally sick because of all the things that this person has been saying about my husband. My husband is not a paedophile. Right, first of all, Ryan, James Donahue, all I'm ever doing on my videos is questioning your scamming past. You never ever answer any of the questions that I raise against you. All you do is you try and dig up the dirt and abuse about me. You know absolutely nothing about me. Um, I'm taking this forward to Lancashire Police as a hate crime. Obviously, I've reported to YouTube and hopefully your channel's going to be deleted. You are propagating malicious slander and lies about somebody you don't know. You can look at my photos. You can read a couple of pages of my autobiography. You know absolutely nothing about me. But guess what, Ryan? Um, I'm taking this forward with the police. And also, um, I'm going to try to get your channel deleted from YouTube. Because basically, you're not putting news stories on. You're not doing news. You're not doing news reports. You're not doing investigations. You are picking on one individual. It's a hate crime. Um, you tried to dox my address. Um, you sent me abusive messages on that Discord. You created an account the same as me. You sent um, messages on my um, Facebook. Oh, sorry. You sent messages on my YouTube videos, which I know were written by you, um, threatening violence. Um, obviously, we're going to report it to Lancashire Police. Watch this space. Right, goodbye. Bye.